Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLives.com We have a Windows Mixed Reality headset to look at This is the Acer headset um, runs Windows Mixed Reality on a Windows 10 PC And in this video I'm going to have a look at the Acer headset and the controls that come with it I'm not going to delve too much into Windows Mixed Reality I've already got a video of, or a few videos of that up on our YouTube channel on TheDigitalLives.com I'm really just going to look at the headset and to see whether uh, this would be the headset for you if you want to get into Windows 10 Mixed Reality so this is the headset, it's nice and light um, and uh, as I was showing in the moment it's very comfortable as well. There is a socket to plug headphones in, one thing that lets this down slightly is the fact there's not a built in headphones or microphone, you've got to plug that in there so I've got used to like a phone, uh, earphone microphone kit just to plug it into that. And it's a shame, uh, I'd like to see it built in. And I think the Samsung one does do that, but anyway, that's what you get with the with the Acer one. On the other end, there is a USB 3 and a HDMI connector. So that just goes into the laptop and um, it actually starts it all up when you do that. Also included, are the two controllers. Now the controllers are a standard design um, so these are the same no matter which uh, kit you, which headset you get. Uh, I really like the controllers um, it's one of my favourite things. Of, they're uh, very comfortable to use and they've got a thumb stick there for navigating around the environment or the virtual cliff house or wherever you are. You can sort of teleport using this and there's sort of triggers and you can use it in in games and things like that so it's really good it's got a windows key there for bringing up the, the windows menu in fact i can even uh, put the monitor on here so you can see the controllers the way that the controllers work these are bluetooth and the headset can see the controls through these camera lenses on there it's called inside out tracking which means you don't need to have any special sensors so it's not like the oculus rift where you've got to have sensors um, to, to so it knows where you are in the room. These do the tracking. So while you're using the the controller, the headsets, it can see where they are. There is gyroscopes and things like that built into it as well. But that's the um, that's the that's how it knows where you are and what you're doing. And obviously, it's got movement sensors and everything else. There's a lot of sensors in it. So, like I said, the controllers are Bluetooth. They need to pair up. A little pairing button underneath the power, uh, underneath the battery cover. There, you pair them up. You've got two controllers, very fine uh, control on those. Actually, I really do like those. I've got a full video of Windows Mixed Reality on our YouTube channel, so have a look at that. Some more information on these. You got a hundred degree uh, view inside when you're looking through the lenses. I don't, know, I can't really show you much of that, but uh, it's a hundred degree view. And these are two screens running, uh, and the screens run at twelve eight. The screens were on uh, 2880 by 1440 uh, the two and there obviously to give you that 3D effect and you really do get a good 3D effect with these in Windows Mixed Reality. You really get that sense of depth uh, when you're using them. So it's got proximity sensors, gyro sensors, magnometer and an accelerometer in there. You get a 90 hertz refresh rate if you're using uh, a Windows PC that's capable of running it. Microsoft have a check if you can search for um, Windows Mixed Reality PC Checker and uh, I've got an article on the digitallife.com how to find out about whether your PC run it. If you've got, um, I think the minimum is sort of a 960, a G, an Nvidia 965 GTX. I've got a machine that's got a 960 GTX and that works fine. If your machine meets the a certain bar, quality bar, in like an i5 processor, 16 gig of RAM or eight, I think 8 gig of RAM and the GTX card you get what's called Windows Mixed Reality Ultra which gives you a 90 uh, hertz refresh rate so a much faster, sharper um, image through the lenses and you get screen mirroring as you, as you can see I'm, I'm doing now it's sort of, everything I'm doing is being mirrored on there um, if you've got an integrated video card you may be able to run Windows Mixed Reality but you won't get the screen mirroring and you get a 60 hertz refresh rate so use that app to tell you uh, to check whether, you, whether you're able to run it Okay, so what about the headset itself? Well, like I said, it's nice and comfortable. It's got this nice padded uh, cushion on the back, 
with an adjustable head sizer there so you can adjust it to the right height size of your head you need to get that right so it doesn't blur you put it on like this so you put it on like this and it's got a little slip up so you can see what's going on if uh, someone comes to talk to you because when you've got these on you are completely immersed so flip it down and it's on and then just adjust that on there just to get it to the the right um, sort of the right head size it does feel like it pinches your nose a little bit and if you're actually quite warm and uh, you can steam the lenses up but uh, yeah, it's, it's okay now it's not doing it now but uh, if you've been out for a run come back in and just put it on you can find the lenses steaming up you don't need glasses on I wear glasses for reading but I found I don't need that with these at all it must be the way the proximity is on there so like I said it does feel like it pinches my nose a little bit but I've been wearing these for Oh, well over an hour at a time and I don't get uh, any eye ache or motion sickness or anything like that just a little warm perhaps sometimes just because of all this around your head but so they are comfortable to wear obviously you've still got the cable to deal with uh, you've still got the cable to deal with as well um, but yeah that's just part of uh, a tethered mixed reality headset so all in all um, very very comfortable to wear and um, I've tried the Lenovo one and I would say there's not much difference between them, they're both comfortable to wear and these probably feel slightly lighter but there's not much in it. Um, the screen sizes and the screen resolution and everything else is more or less the same. So I'm not going to go through the whole, uh, walk through the whole setup of Windows Mixed Reality, I've got a video doing that. What you can do, you can run the setup uh, on here and you can specify whether you're running in um, sat down at a desk or you can actually mark the room out so it gives you two options and um, let me just see if I can show you a bit better so you see you get two options on here you can have it so that you can specify the the room and the size of your room or you can do sit down mode I've done sit down modes most the applications like the cliff house work fine sit down mode some games even sort of change the way that they optimize for for sit down mode but you can uh, specify the size of your room and the way you do that uh, you can see the full demo of this on our other video is you walk around the room put the headset sort of start off here walk around the room with it and you map out the size of your room and then it creates a, a virtual barrier um, in the program so that you don't bash into things a virtual boundary so uh, I can't turn that on currently because I've not run the setup but you can kind of see a barrier way uh, or a line to show you where you where you, you, your zone where you should you've got to be careful not to walk out of or you'll bash into the wall or whatever like I said check out our other video where I've got that in action so this is the uh, Lenovo headset there's the Acer one you see they're very very similar both both very comfortable um, neither of them have built in headphones uh, the Samsung one does but Samsung one's not available in Europe at the moment anyway so what I would advise you to do if you're going to get one of these is see if you can get a try, uh, give, give them a try. Uh, PC World Curries are doing demos of them so we'll definitely look at that. Microsoft stores in the US do them as well. I really like the Acer headset. It's nice and light, comfortable. Um, I love Windows Mixed Reality. I think it's, um, it's, it's an amazing system. You've got this virtual cliff house where you can walk around, run Windows apps, look at the desktop. Uh, you can play games, you can stream Xbox games, there's so much you can do with it. So check out our YouTube channel because I've got loads of uh, videos showing how you can stream Xbox games, how you can use a desktop, how you can do all sorts of things with it, some tip, hints and tips as well. Windows Mixed Reality is really, really good fun. It's an amazing experience when you put it in, you get that fully immersive environment. You can fire up Windows apps, you can stream Xbox games. You can do so much with it and then of course you've got games as well like Super Hot. Uh, space Pirate Trainer, there's a whole load of stuff but go on our YouTube channel and check out other videos but I really do like the Acer headset, it's very comfortable, nice to use and um, Windows Mixed Reality is amazing, it's really good fun you don't need um, special sensors or anything like this, all you need is the controllers the headset, a laptop that, or a PC that's uh, sort of a gaming device that's able to do it discrete gra graphics card is better it's about 400 quid for these headsets uh, get from the Microsoft Store, Curry's PC World and other places so thanks for watching this one please check out our other videos